Cardiovascular disease remains one of the world's leading health challenges, but new technologies and strategic collaborations are helping address gaps in treatment and care. Joining us now is David Hockman from Orchestra Biomed Incorporated. It's good to have you with me. How is your team addressing the major unmet needs in hypertension and artery disease that we're seeing more of? Uh, well, Mike, we're focused on bringing new device-based therapies to patients and physicians, that particularly patients that have, I would say, the highest risk and the largest unmet need when it comes to high blood pressure and artery disease. Our first therapy is called AVIM therapy, and actually it's, it's really software that upgrades a pacemaker, a therapy that's been around for many decades, and gives it a new capability to lower blood pressure that's always on, it works immediately, it's substantial, and particularly suited for high-risk older patients where you're worried about blood pressure driving heart attack and stroke, but also driving progression to heart failure and end-stage kidney disease. And then on the artery disease side, we have a novel drug-eluting balloon called Virtue that really provides a leave-nothing-behind solution and is a major upgrade to current uh, uh, device technologies. And we're doing this most importantly through partnerships with major global strategics that then will do the commercialization of the products we develop. Yeah, okay. So can you explain a little further your product pipeline and how it fits into the existing clinical systems? I feel like that's something that people would love to hear about in terms of what lies ahead. Sure. And, and that's a great point about existing clinical systems. New technology in healthcare is wonderful, but we have very established paradigms for care, and so it's best if that technology is designed and purpose-built to fit into that paradigm. So as I mentioned, our AVIM therapy, our treatment for hypertension, high-risk patients, is designed it, essentially a software that upgrades an existing uh, pacemaker firmware built into it. But really, we don't change the device. We don't change the way it's implanted. We don't change that standard of care and pacemakers are implanted in hospitals all over the world and been around for over six decades. We give it this powerful new capability, but the physicians that implant those devices can adopt that technology quite readily. Mm, okay, so tell us- Our a artery bit disease treatment also is, is similar. It's a, it's a balloon angioplasty system, but here it's delivering drug. Once again, those devices are used all over the world in hospitals and mm. so it also is designed to readily fit into the paradigm of care. Okay, so let's just move ahead now and tell us a little bit about the partnership-driven business model that you guys have undertaken in order to really uh, make the most impact. Well, the problems we're talking about are global problems. The patients are all over the world. And so it's one that what we're focused on is to develop the technology, the intellectual property, run the studies to get the data that's necessary for regulatory agencies like the FDA in the US to approve, but it's another thing to, how do we make that technology that is mm. these pervasive, these patients are all over the world available. So we've partnered with global leaders. Uh, our AVIM therapy program is partnered with Medtronic. Medtronic actually invented the pacemaker and Medtronic is the global leader in selling and supporting pacemakers around the world. So we've got the best partner to work with who then can make that therapy once it's, once it's proven available to patients globally all over the world. And, and that's really an important part of our model. How do we team up with the, those global leaders so that we not only have a great solution, but that it can be rapidly made available to patients and physicians. Okay, so how does your revenue model work through global partnerships and royalties, uh, more broadly speaking? Sure. So Orchestra Biomed was founded to take a partnership model that's very well established in drug development and bring it to the device space and ultimately make money through participating in the commercial success of our partners through, like you said, a royalty interest. So we have a substantial long-term royalty interest. Royalties are a very attractive way for our shareholders to benefit. Essentially, they're 100% profit margin, and most of our costs will have already been incurred to do the development work our partners incur the cost of, of commercialization. Those royalties should um, generate profits much faster than if we had to build our own sales force and our own mm -hmm. distribution channel. Yeah, So we absolutely. think it's a very capital efficient business model. As it should be. Uh, David, I'm curious to know, where can people find out a little bit more information about all of this and perhaps engage with the team uh, and get some assistance? Sure, our website is orchestrabiomed.com. 
We also have an active LinkedIn uh, uh, channel under Orchestra Biomed, so at Orchestra Biomed on LinkedIn. A lot of information we post regularly, uh, news releases as well as on social media. So those are both great resources. Wonderful stuff from you. And again, appreciate your time on the program, bringing this to our attention and running me through it today here on Ticker. Thank you so much.